welcome to ISO 20022 live payments messaging we are going to check the payments message and generate a ISO equivalent payments message and translate it to MT202 so stay tuned for this presentation and watch it till the end thank you we'll log in to a myself account so if you don't have one we'll create or we can create one then i will show you how to create a payments uh, iso equivalent message that is tax.009.0001.08 uh, then we'll log in to the my standards readiness portal online on the my script and test our script message for iso 2022 payments message which we have created and then <coughs> we will use a translation portal to translate the to your 22 message into an empty equivalent format message and see how it looks like and we'll compare the attributes so please on the screen we can see that i i am going to log into my swift uh, login account wherein i enter my email address and password you can also create the account yourself so after you log in you can see the details of your profile and all the supporting documents uh, are also available online into your account uh, so and you can also view all the access rights so uh, you can scroll down and see that there are two options my standards and test sparring partner so we are going to use my standards to test the sample message as well as the translation portal we can use to translate the message click the my click my standards option Uh, we are interested in payments message you could see all the syntax of the xml message uh, tag that is available uh, we click the option cbpr plus uh, we want to access the readiness portal Uh, we select the payments message uh, financial institution credit transfer click the test button uh, copy paste uh, the message test it it shows that the message is completely valid so we'll go through the message one by one uh, the message in is encapsulated in an envelope block it has the application header as well as the document header block we have a sender date and the receiver date we have a unique id uh this is the message type that is used in iso 2022 for payments this is a service that is that is mentioned by the swift there is another unique id that we mention at two places uh this is number of transaction uh in this case it's only one transaction uh this is the settlement uh mode uh, that is described as inda means that the account number of the receiving account is maintained by the instructing agent so we have the instructing agent id uh, this is a unique id that is generated it's like a semi number uh, on a mt202 tag we have a unique ut uter code uh, that is uid we have a settlement amount uh, 2.5 dollars and the settlement date we have a instructing agent which is a sender instructed agent is a receiving uh, agent code we have a intermediary agent in between that is a city bank we are debiting the account of the sender and the crediting agent details that is a city bank details are given over here and then the person or the institution where the account is getting credited so that information is present here in this section in this case we mentioned the account number and the uh, name of the company where the account is getting credited and the last uh, few lines of the code 
mentions the more details about the account. Uh, uh, here it mentions that the account uh, which is maintained by Champak Loan Trading is a loan account or a lien is present on that particular account. And this is like a lien ID. So next we'll have a look at the translation portal. Since now we have generated this message, uh, handcrafted it and then tested it out. So we would like, like to know how the message would look like in the original world, you know, like a MT202 or a Swift ISO 15022 message format, which is a name value pair. So let's go to the uh, my standards. CBPR plus and let's go to the translation portal. So here we can see like how ISO message can be translated to the Swift uh, MT format. So we click this option translation portal. We scroll down and see our message that is PACS0090001 to MT format and click the test button. Here we have to copy paste our contents of the message and we want to see how the message would look like in an MT202 format. So let's have a look at it. The moment we copy the message, we get the output generated on the right hand side. So if we see that the sender bit is SCND US 30, the receiver bit is RECV. This message is as of like MT202. Uh, we have a unique ID uh, that is a UETR which we mentioned in the message earlier, which is represented as tag 121. We have a semi number uh, which is a unique ID that is an instruction ID. We have the amount and the date of the transaction, which is mentioned in these tags. This is the institution where the account is being debited. This is the intermediary account number details, accounting details, that is a, a Citibank acts as an intermediary and it has a beneficiary account with it. So this is all mentioned in the following tags. Now here you notice that we have a USABA, so which is converted to FW, that is a Fed wire. We have a PA routing number. Then we have the name of the bank. So here you could have a BIC also as well as the uh, name of the bank. In case if it was a BIC, this tag would be as like a 57A tag instead of 57D. Next, we can see like the beneficiary account details, like uh, uh, which is Champaklal Trading and its account number, its address. And the last four lines over here, this refers to like the extra information about the accounting account, account holder, the recipient details itself. So, as mentioned earlier, like this. Uh, represents that this account, uh, the receiver is Champaklal and his company is so and so and it has a loan and this is the loan ID. And the last uh, information is the checksum which is not, uh, which is automatically calculated by the Swift. 